Yes, we're live. Can't wait to start playing this again. It's been a hot minute. We're going to watch the intro again. I've streamed this a lot of times on my old channel, but, uh, you know. It's been way too long here. I'm going to lower the volume on my end. Classic. This game came out in 2014, man. I think it was 2014 or 2015. 2014. Late 2014. Okay. I remember. Oh, the sound is off. Hold on here. Let me do the be right back here. Okay, I think it's good now. I'm just gonna do windowed for myself. Okay, yeah, audio syncing in. Eh, yeah, let's keep everything in same. We'll do an edit mode. We'll make it a whole new character because we have. I think we've. Yeah, I've had two characters. That's right. For this, I don't really have to make a whole new character. So I can change the weapon. I actually don't know what to roll with here. I forgot what it was. Well, I don't really care what's good. It's just like my bias kind of weapons here. I'm trying to think of. Wait, he's pretty good. I like flying swords. A good one. Blue Boo is always like a favorite to a lot of people. Because it's OP as shit. Huh, I really don't know. Flame Blade's also really good. Can I see the animations for this? Hold on. 
Oh, it's that's the jump jump special. Second alternative spe uh, special. Primary special. Okay. I think that's fine. Get redo his. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna do. We'll do the standard Three Kingdoms one. That or the Yellow Turban Bandits. Uh, I didn't mean to do edit mode. I don't have all the DLCs too, so this could be a problem. Maybe. I might play another game. Uh, a little later. Who knows? A yellow turban or... Where is... No, that's the coup. That's later. Oh, I guess it's downloadables? Three kingdoms. Okay. Oh, this is after South South's dead. Yep, South South slays Guan Yu at Jiangyang, but die shortly after. Oh, that's when the ambush attack happened. There's a lot of weird ones. Oh, this is when Yellow Turbans won in the rebellion. Yeah, we should probably do, uh... Let's not do deaths. Let's not do that. Using Sui Han. That flame sword, which is a good, good weapon. Shit, we get a cave? We could change this, but yeah. Wait, can I? Oh yes I can. Tavern. Encampment, that's pretty cool. Western Tavern, that's hilarious. Oh, it's a desert castle. Okay. That's pretty weird. Crazy, what the hell?
Much better. Let's draft some soldiers. Don't know how many I can have. Oh, I guess 1,000 is the max for right now. Level. Oh, wait, never mind. I need to check this. Hold on. How many can I have? No. Fuck off. I'm not doing on the spot missions. Well, you fuck off. I ain't doing no assassinations. You need to chill with that. I swear to God, he was gonna ask me one more time. I swear to God. Our mats, then we're gonna do like two gold, and then we're gonna find a quest. Oh, alliance that did not happen in history, I'm pretty sure. We need some gold. I just I, I you hit the wrong option there. Fuck off. Raise money. Let's sell it at 1,000 and then we're gonna battle. Can't join a battle because I'm not at that territory right now. are all like bad ones not a lot of good weapon rewards either this is kind of bad I guess I'll do this for a Taoist deck I mean that's a pretty good moveset it was a good moveset in five Oh, why did I start over here? What the hell? Oh, I gotta go rescue these guys. That's why. This is a fun moveset only because it has an element already to it to cause affliction damage. This guy too, he's heading this way, right? Reinforcements? Oh, 
Oh, that's not even it. There's more. Oh, these guys were reinforcements, right? Oh, we got Muso. Come on down. Let me hit you with the good stuff right here. Just like that. And it's over. This is just like a. It's not even a level one sword. This is basically level zero. I believe the trademark weapon design is like level three, three star, I think. That's a trademark for the actual character that uses that move set. I think, unless they change that. No, I'm not joining anybody. Fuck off. I hate blue. Just kidding. The character's wearing red, so I'm, you know, too lazy to change the color. Player, we can switch our weapon now. We got the cards on our second weapon. Wait, whoops. Oh, because this is also heaven, so it's gonna be weaker. Shit. Can I shop? Yeah, give me a man, a man element, which I don't know what that represents. This is a lot of bad quests right here for terrible morale. That's awful. That was another Tower's deck. And yeah, these won't go away. Alright, we're gonna do a bandit piece of work right now. Switch over. On down. The weapons merchant, okay. You bozos now, what the fuck? Ride horsey ride. You're not Kage, but you know, close enough.
Oh, too bad. So they raise their advantage or their their attack or defense. The fuck, Su Shu? The fuck? No, I'm going this way. Fuck it. Fuck it. Desperado. I like that. The legend is basically a desperado, not serving anybody. Lushun's uh daggers here. I'm glad they put this in the game now that he has this. It's amazing. Oh, do I get shadows? That's pretty sick. I didn't realize I get these. Oh, this is a remix theme. I forgot what's on. Uh, I forgot what it was called, but I loved it in six. God, it's gonna trigger like somewhere over here, I think. Oh, never mind. Jesus, that's dropping like fry, uh, flies. Come on. 
Hey, welcome to the stream. I don't know how to say that name. They had a fry? Fire. Not fry. Fire. Dang, oh, brother. This guy is moving way too far ahead, by the way. And there's more ambushes. There's going to be another ambush at the end, too. The end here. Waiting. I'm, I know the ambush is coming. I am ready. Sushu again? I dealt with this guy last time. Last quest. Caravan escorted, or yeah, weapons merchant. Now give me my reward. I forgot what the weapon was. Oh, a glaive. Can you please stop coming back here asking me to join your kingdom? No means no. I am a wanderer for life. Oh, level two steel blade. That's pretty good. That's Sun John's weapon. I think we're all good. Switch over. Let's see. How's your day been so far? It's uh, pretty tiring. Working a six to three job and then came back home. It's been three hours later. Been doing nothing but on the computer. I definitely need a nap after this trip. I forgot how good this weapon was. I didn't mean to hit that already. Oh no, I'm hitting nothing. Ah, oh, Glaive, that's such an underrated weapon. Still fighting over here? I right, just chase him. Y'all don't get the memo? You want fast results in this game, you go for the throwing knives as a move set, which is very cheap. That would just use Lu Boo's move set. Oh jeez. 
What the? Did a bandit leader fucking use the Muso right there? I think that's what he did. The hell? God, they can switch the sword when you get too close. Man, it's been forever. There's a caravan. What? Yo, good over here? Oh, you went the other way. Of course. I didn't want to take hits. What the hell? We're almost there, and there's gonna be one more ambush. I can already feel it in my bones. I knew it. Dudes with shields and spears. NPCs with spears already. Uh, is, is broken. Right, I'm getting the steel blade. Man, that's a pretty easy mission for a level two weapon already this early. This early level two weapon. That's not a part of my move set, but it's whatever. You can collect as many weapons as you want. Yes, the seven ring sword. Give it to me. Nine rings. Never mind. I thought it was seven. Change your blade. I'm gonna change its element. Okay, so now we don't have to match elements. If it matches, then uh, the weapons get weaker when you're fighting. Uh, is there more level two stuff? Or do I have to move? That's what it feels like. At the move. Okay, I'm leaving this place. Fuck you. I'm out of here. Uh, let's see here. Battle, quest. Let's see what happens here. More stuff. I don't want that level 2 weapon. Eh, stud club. That's not my suit. Either it's too slow. Damn. Y'all need to get better rewards here. I have to use Lu Bu style before I switch to Zhang Fei style. I like Zhang Fei's. I do like using pole arms more than swords. I'm not a fan of Zhu Ron's moveset in this game. The the bow. Fire bow. It's just I don't know why. It just doesn't feel right. And to be dead honest, this this was to me, this is the last good game Dynasty Warriors made. And that's the truth. And then they uh, threw it to shit with Dynasty Warriors 9. And I don't I, I already made a rant video about that a long time ago. I was hyped for it, 
when, it, when the gameplays and stuff showed. Then the hands-on experience, I just it just did not feel right. It didn't feel like Dynasty Warriors anymore. What? This guy? Th no! I am solo, brother. Man, there's a lot of level one weapons here. Oh, uh, Zhao Yun's moveset's not that bad. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, but that's an assassination. Uh... Uh, uh, I want this weapon. The short pike's pretty good too. I was a fan of that in um seven, right? Was the seven that was introduced? Yeah, it was seven. It didn't have anybody using it. Then they gave it to uh, what's his face? I forgot his name. Trying to remember who it is. I'm looking it up right now, actually. Uh, let me look it up here. I'm trying here. Short Han Dang. Oh, there we go. Han Dang. They gave it to Han Dang in eight. That weapon was available in seven empires. That was such a good move set in seven. I'm playing on normal difficulty, by the way, just for any questions to ask. I'm trying to go through this scenario ASAP. This is the Three Kingdoms scenario DLC. Just to make it a little quicker. So maybe I do have, I might as well join a kingdom pretty soon here. Cooper, please don't see me. What the? Ha. Whatever. We're blazing through. I haven't done assassination in a long time, man. When I was playing this religiously, assassination was just the easiest thing ever. I can't. I couldn't attack. It was delayed. And nobody knew what happened. I'm out of here. The harder the difficulty. Oh man, it's just for assassinations. It gets more ridiculous. I think when I did assassin. When I did assassinations only, I, uh, my character looked more like a ninja, and he was using the uh, the scythe, the chain scythe. That that was one of my favorite weapons too. No. I should join a battle. I'm gonna move over to here and defend it. Hopefully they're still attacking. They are. What did I get out of this? The short pike? I didn't even use the steel blade yet. We're gonna do that right now. Join battle. I don't think I have all the DLCs in this yet. I'm not even sure. There's so many. This is where they fuck up. The DLCs are just 
There's too many. There's too many DLCs and they bundle they, they first release it separately, each item separately, and then they bundle it together. Or they'll have like three different bundle options, which is super weird. This did not make sense to me. Uh let's see here. After four bases within f how many? Ten minutes? Like, give me these 500 ones. Uh, main camp should always be leveled up. I'll waste some gold there. Why not? This looks like it's gonna be really hard here, considering how many, how much territory they have. I always enjoy the Empire games. I always enjoy create character. I don't know why they took it away from the base the base games and just put them in these only in Empires now. Used to put I remember Dynasty Wars 4, they had create character, and then like there was Extreme Legends, and then there was Empires. Five, they uh, five is when they stopped. The base game didn't have it. Then Extreme Legends had it, and then Empires had it as well. But not the base. This is so, so weird. I guess they read, like, one random forum user and it's like, Ah, that credit character sucks. They're like, oh, it's shut down. Probably read one forum post and was like, ah, yeah, we'll take it off. Great character is like the best thing they got. The only thing lacking is like generic weapons. This is my problem with the my problem with Soul Calibur. When you create a character, there's like nothing original except for the uh, the gear. The weapons are just the same moveset of the roster, which is boring. You create a character, you want original weapons too. I mean, not just the gear. I hope one day they're like, hey, there's a Wars Orochi 5, and we're gonna cr have a create character, and we have some original weapons. That's how you please a large community. That's how you, you bait people in. Hire me for marketing, <laughs> Koei Tecmo. Like, I got, I got ideas. I need to take out this base and then the base next to it. What the? These arrows. DW4 is fantastic. I think DW4 Extreme Legends was my first DW4 game. I didn't play the original one. I only played the spin-offs. Uh, my first Dynasty Wars game was Dynasty Wars 5 Extreme Legends. That was in the mid-2000s. Oh, I messed up one of my quests. Not enough time. What about an idea for nine? I don't know about nine empires, man. I think they just need to move on from nine and its mechanics. You see what they did with the recent Wars of Rochi 4? And like, they just ignored the mechanics of nine and just gave us the original Dynasty Wars or Wars of Rochi 3 system I'm not a big fan of Dice Wars 9 it was just there were there were empires elements sort of 
in nine. They just, I don't know, man. It's one of those, those things where it was, they had big ideas, but they had terrible execution. Another, another one that a lot of people hear is, um, uh, what is it? What's that quote? They took two steps forward and five steps back or more than that. I, I'm over exaggerating, but they really took a lot of steps back. Will you continue to capture the, yeah. I'm almost dead. I just realized. Uh oh. What the? I need health. Uh, I'm out of here. Hey, why do you increase? I just need to move on and just go straight to 10 and just revert or use use the Wars of Rochi system. Instead of just Dynasty Warriors. I don't feel like they'll ever make another Wars of Rochi though. Because <laughs> this last one has been pretty crazy. They really went all out on it. I have the latest Wars of Rochi on um, on PC, and it, it's it runs fantastic. I haven't even looked into uh, with mods. I don't think there are mods with the recent one. I'm not 100% quite sure. I don't know how big the community is for those too, especially for PC. Wait, there is no wait, no, there isn't. I need healing. I'm literally one tap. Uh oh. Whoa, his unit captured two bases already? Back to back? Yeah, I knew I failed these. At least two of them. Those are the big ones, too. I didn't keep an eye on that, too. Okay. I have to go to the main camp. Our main camp, just to heal. The hell's that timer? What? What's that timer? Any ideas for like any Dynasty Wars game moving forward? Like, bit a uh, more creativity with um your uh custom warriors, custom officers. You know, something more original. You don't have to like add costumes from the previous game like they have been the whole time. That's the most annoying part with these Empire games back to back. It's like they add a few new things and then they add in some outfits that are like references from other Koei stuff. And then same costumes from the last game, of course. 
Voice packs should not be a paid DLC. Like, they, they are getting their money's worth mainly through DLC, which is kind of sad. Because it's basically just missing content that they should that should have been in the game in general. It's kind of sad. These guys are going hard on these, taking back their bases. Yay, more healing. That's what I needed, actually. But which... Is their main camp right there? Oh, it is. We're gonna take the base right above the main camp and then just go straight to the main camp. Should be that easy. Oh, this path is a little crazy here. What the hell? Huh. Where do I go from here? Can't jump from there? There we go. We can go this way. I feel like I can't get to this base if I have to, I have to go on the, the bridge. Never mind, it is below. Create your own weapon? Yeah, that sounds actually pretty good. Like, they give you a base, like, uh, or a few different examples, like, uh, templates. Yeah, you have to base your, your weapon from. So it can be a one hand sword or, uh, two hand, uh, dual hands. Um, spear or, or a pole arm, bow, clubs. A uh, uh, the other ones would be like other, so like the flute, the whips, weapons from Dynasty Wars Online, because that's still a thing in Japan and Taiwan. Like, they've added so many custom weapons in the online game as of today, and they should take ideas from that and remake it for the the. The current generation of the consoles. Like, it would be perfect. Dynasty Wars Online still has the same system from Dynasty Wars 5. And a few years ago, they added the uh, switching the weapons around. You can carry two weapons now. Which wasn't a Dynasty Wars 5 thing. That they introduced that in 7. They decided to put it in online, which is fantastic. And it, it feels kind of weird sometimes because it's a Dynasty Wars 5 uh, mechanic of uh, the whole game. Or, well, the base of it. Ooh. Who, where's the target? Oh, wait. I have to take out some of the bases. God, I can't stay here. Oh, wait. Did we? Oh, he captured the base. Oh, Lu Shun with the clutch. Need to broad. They need to also broaden out the um, just the the body creation, body and face creations too. Like face morphing needs to be expanded a little more. Uh, body temp. They need more body templates instead of the basic morphing that they got for the body. Doesn't feel like there's enough options for it. They need more cutscenes for create character. 
or whatever their next base game is. So let's say Dynasty Wars 10. And instead of repeating, you know, the same historical and the fictional romance, uh, uh, romance of three kingdoms stuff, make a thing where you're a created character and you're put into the lore into through the timeline. You can pick, maybe pick your own scenario and go through like a, like a small campaign. Like, if you want to start at the Yellow Turban Rebellion and then move your way to, like, Dong Zhuo's rule, like, man. Don't give me up for Dia online for console. Well, it, it is available on console, um, in the Japanese market. If you, have, if you make a Japanese uh, PSN, you can play it there. All you need is to make an account for for uh, Japan PSN. It's still a thing. There is a Samurai... No, is it Samurai Warriors? It's kind of... No, it's the Noble Naga. There's a Noble Naga one, too. I'm trying to figure out what that one is. Noble Naga PSN game. I don't remember. What it was called. Is it Ambition? No, it's not. Pretty sure. Online PSN. Thank you for the follow. I still don't know how to say that first part of the name. J is it J Hado? J Hado Fire. What is it? I'm trying to remember what this game was. I should probably just look up Samurai Warriors and look for a list. It might be a, uh, an actual Nobunaga game. I'm trying to remember what the title was. And it's not ambition. Uh, actually, maybe it was. Let me share my screen here. No, no, not the sign of that one. No, no, that's way too f or, uh, far up. It was a few years ago. There, there isn't something Samurai Wars Online related for the you, that you can play on the console on the on the Japanese market. Actually, let me take a look. I think this might be the game. It might be a, actually a Nobunaga Ambition game. Uh. Maybe it was this? Maybe it was. What the fuck? I know these are still... The, this is still a thing. In Japan. I played it like a year ago in Japan. A Japanese server. Jesus. Wonder if this character switches, switches weapons. I don't think it... Doesn't look like he does. 
No, he doesn't have a second weapon. Like this mode did not give you a second weapon. I'm pretty sure it's still striving too. It's just I don't think there's a bigger community for it anymore from the from America. And I miss playing online in, um on the American servers. It was heartbreaking that it's gone. Yeah, look at that farewell video from the US servers. Oh man. Uh, someone streamed this a year ago. Double pistols? I have not seen this weapon. You see that they're adding like random weapons? Oh, that's like Masamune's kind of moveset with that charge attack. This, that's a completely custom weapon that they made. Uh, the developers. They're just adding so much random shit into this game. You can't get that in the base games, which is really sad. Oh, there's just so many now. Look at all these. They bring back so many, um callbacks and they add like some from seven look at that they have hook blades and like imagine the hook blade this is um what's his face that debuted in seven uh we i'm trying to remember his name i forgot his name god damn it but he debuted in seven imagine this weapon in the dinosaur wars five mechanic this is incredible there's ma P pierces which is from here eight Extension blade the, like some of these are just way later on and they added it to Dinosaur Wars 5 Mechanic look at all the a great sickle that sounds like Orochi's Man, there's just so many weapons I'm angry that these aren't like in the modern games Yui Jin. Yeah, yeah That moveset in a Dinosaur Wars 5 mechanic is, would be incredible. They have a Nodachi in this game. I need to get back in this red dragon sword. That sounds awesome. I got the short halberd. Sky Pierce, that's Lou Boo's moveset. That's been around for a while. I don't know if that... Did this ever make it to... The US servers before it shut down? Because I don't think it did. This was in the Japanese and Taiwan server for a long time too. I don't know. U.S. servers were like slowly re um, revealing or releasing weapons, but they, you know, it just, there's a twin pistols. It just never happened. A war blade. Waving nunchucker. That's a new one. I don't know what that one is. There's the wood one. That's Ling Tong's Dice Wars 5. I don't know what waving is. They have so many. A lot of it's original. Some of it are callbacks. Yeah, look at that. Taken. Some of them are taken from the seventh and eighth installments, which is fantastic. And I'm glad this game is still around. I just wish it was in the U.S. again. Oh my god, they give you the whole list of what it looks like? Ballistic Spear? These look so crazy. Oh, the one hand club. The rod. What the heck? That has to be like a funny weapon thing. There's the symbols. One of the first original weapons in the game. Staff, another original weapon in the game. Oh, these look so good. Hey, the generic sword for Dinosaur 7. 
That's Gan Ning. Gan Nings? Yes, it is. This is from Seven? Supreme Dragon. Look at that. That looks crazy. Slugger. That's funny. They do add some stuff just for fun, too. It's just incredible. And I just want to play the game again now. I want to re-download the game. That means I have to change my region and shit to Japan again. Because I, I right now I'm low on cash for uh, VPN stuff. I might wait and just do VPN. That chakra looks crazy. I miss the daggers from six. What daggers? Oh, God, Ning's dual, the dual daggers. That Musa was okay. It just shouldn't be God Ning's. Looks like there's a oh there's one-handed daggers in this. That looks pretty cool. Dude, there's actually more than there's a dagger axe. What the fuck does that mean? Dagger axe. Sure. Oh. Oh, these are classes of the weapons, okay. Yui Ying's old weapon, yeah, yeah, dagger axe. That Musa was pretty good. That Musa is actually pretty cheap in the online too. I remember everybody either using um Soon says uh, Tonfa because it has a fire element built into the combo. Because you can't get any other element advantage unless you equip an orb. But with, like certain move sets will have an element charge attack on their on their um, combo five, I think. I think that's what it was. C five, yeah. No. Yeah, C five, which is melee. Uh, Four melee hits and then uh, the charge attack. I think another one was Huang Gai and his club and shield. Like that also had a fire element into it. People would juggle with it so, you know, the, the enemies would uh, take affliction damage consistently during the juggle, which was so cheap. Oh. Sao P's weapon. Sao Pi, I guess. I think it's Pi now. I don't know that pronunciation. With the ice element. Ice element wasn't used that much in online. The shadow orb was used a lot to break people's guards. I miss that stuff, man. It was so... I was very skeptical when they released that game in the US through Aria Games as their uh, publisher. I was like, oh, no. Because Aria Games has a bad history of keeping games running. I think during Dynasty Wars online time, when they had it up there, they had Wolf Team and they had... Uh, oh, I forgot what other games they had. It just had too many games running. It was insane. Like, that was a large market. That was a large community for it, too. Problem was, uh... I don't know. They just made some stupid cuts. And that might be a biased thing to say, just because I love Dinosaur Wars stuff. I feel like that game could still be thriving today, online. 
and they would have probably made a, a new one with an updated like dinosaur 7 or 8 mechanic which would have been incredible for online 7 and 8 are really just the last the last two good series before 9 kind of killed pretty much killed it and like the majority of the fans of 9 are mainly they only love it because there's fan service in it I think that's pretty much it there are a lot of those weirdos it's mainly just people uh perverting over the female characters You can kind of blame Tecmo's part of that, I guess. <laughs> need more boob appeal. We need more of it. That's that's pretty much probably what happens in their office meetings. The only thing I liked about Dinosaur 9 was that uh, they included Chinese uh, voice acting, which is fantastic. It was a good idea, but it was terrible execution for open world because it, it felt so empty. And I remember playing it on launch on Steam. And I played for just an hour in. And it just... It didn't feel right. It didn't feel like a Dice Wars game anymore. I had higher expectations with open world, and it's so hard to do an open world Dynasty Wars thing, especially if you're trying to follow cutscenes into stories, because you're playing multiple characters for that. There's too many characters in this game in general. That's so hard to do. Like I said before, big ideas. Terrible execution. I feel like they really just killed the series, and I, I'm I'm waiting ten more years for uh, uh they'll oh hey Dynasty Wars ten, we're, we're developing it. I'll be I'll probably be dead by the time they release that. No. Oh, that was, uh, Zheng Fei's weapon. That's Ma Chao's weapon at level 2. Nothing else at level 2? Cao Pai? Okay. That's, that's a good weapon, actually. We're just trying out a bunch of weapons here. Wait, what did I get for this one? I forgot. Oh, the halberd. Oh, I did have weapons. I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize. I will escort you. Don't worry. I'm waiting for these ambushes to happen. I love... Um... Nice Wars 6, 7, 8 soundtracks. I mean, 5 is also always a classic. Anything from five soundtracks are amazing. Four as well. I have the, uh, what, what song or what soundtrack was it? I think it was called Raid. 
Like that one is, that's always stuck in my head. Why are you all the way over there? Oh, well. I think Raid might be my favorite one ever. I always had that. Oh no, not Raid. Uh, it might be called Advance. I don't remember. You're really telling me I have to go all the way over there to kick your ass? Cancel this ambush? I originally thought, uh, well, the first idea for the stream today, I, I thought I was going to get Dynasty Wars 3 and try that out for the first time, but, you know, I haven't downloaded anything for that yet since, ever since I hard reset my computer. I don't have uh, cough cough emulator stuff right now since the hard reset. I feel like I should. I'm, I, I kind of miss playing Dinosaur Wars 5 a little bit. Like, when I'm not streaming that game, I'll just mess around with modifications, and this is fantastic. One hitting everything and just breezing through. It feels good. It feels good for Hack and Slash. I just wish I could do that with 6. 6 was... Uh, I don't know how I feel about six. I like six empires. Did not like six entirely. Nice Wars six was a big miss. I think mainly because they fucked up the move sets and the cloning of the move sets to other characters. They basically retextured weapons with the same move set. I felt like only characters that had like prominent cutscenes on six had their own move set. I think uh Ma Chow's Yeah, Ma Chow with the giant sword, that was really weird. I don't know why they decided to do that. He had a spear on 6, and then they did a special edition on the PlayStation 2. They're like, hey, we decided to change some movesets. Some people have new, or two people have new weapons. Gave Ma Chao a giant sword. Even though his, his real life lore was known to be a spear user. We're going to give him a sword. He's got a big ass sword. He's Cloud now. Welcome to Final Fantasy 7, motherfucker. That's, that's pretty much what they said. That's pretty much what the, what they were going for. I don't like to have to travel all the way over here just to kill one guy. I'll fucking use my Musa to get my ass over here. Come here, horsey. There's not gonna be like a one more ambush here. I feel it in my bones. Unless that was three ambushes already. Oh, never mind. It was two. Here's the third one. Yeah, man, you can leave. It stay away from my my group here. My merchants. No hard feelings. I'm trying to escort these people here. Get the hell out of here. Jesus. 
what's in the carriage. You'll let me know. I used to play this game so religiously. Same thing with Seven Empires. I played Seven Empires for so long on PS3, and then when I got a PS4, I just rebought the game. <laughs> I think that was on PS3, right? Seven Empires? It was. Had that on PS3 when it came out. 2011. And rebought it on PS4. Wait, was it even on PS4? I might be wrong here, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. I think it was. I'm Damn sure it was. My bad. I forgot this was ABC order. No, I don't. Huh. It was only on PS3. Huh. It was Dinosaur Wars 8 that was on PS3 and PS4. That's right. That's the one I rebought. It was 8. Man, that was so long ago then. God damn. I bought 8 on its release. Digitally. I remember buying Extreme... Uh, was it Extreme Legends for... Oh, was it seven? I think I bought a physical copy of that. PS3. Or it was eight. Shit, I don't remember. No, I did not play Extreme 8. I, forget, I remember now. It was seven Extreme Legends. I bought a physical copy of that. Man, those were the days. I'm gonna be right back here. This is a longer stream than I usually do because I average just about an hour. But we're just gonna keep playing for a little bit longer. I'm not uh, tired anymore. I'm gonna be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Good bathroom break. Wash my face. Lots of soap. I had to rinse out my eye a few times there. <laughs> I am wide awake. I forgot all the shortcuts in these games because I know in Dinosaur War 7 Empires, there was a really cheap way to uh, play through expert mode um, from the very beginning. It was, I think it, I think the setup for a Seven Empires was like um, try to get catapults and all that shit like early and there's just, just take over the bases. That's uh, that's pretty much what you do. A lot of people said use uh, Zhu Shu's weapon set too because he was new a new character for Dynasty Warriors Seven Empires. His move set was overpowered as hell, and, th and they ruined it in Warriors Orochi. Uh, Shit, what's the game I have? Four? Four Ultimate? They ruined his whole moveset. Well, they, they just nerfed him. He was pretty ridiculous. I'm not a fan of the new character in this. I'm not a big fan of him. Hmm. Another fire blade? I already have one. Why? What, what is this? I'm out of here. We're in shoe territory now. Probably play a few more quests. I'll join a kingdom when the time's right. I want to see how it spills out. Another fire blade quest. Soon you, yeah. He, I'm not a big fan of his Musa. Uh. Javelin's a hit or miss weapon too. Sadly. Throwing blades, that's it's that's literally the best one of the best weapons. The, another good weapon to use in Dinosaur 7 Empires. It's, it's one of the fastest weapons. How do you move up, guy? Oh, I guess I can just leave. Or... What? 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 Oh, you know what? My char this character's stats is quick, isn't it? I forgot to change that. Should put him like for power or something. So his attacks feel like light, light attacks, very light attacks. It doesn't. It his attacks are weak against uh, anybody. <laughs> they don't stagger. I kind of messed that up. I can really, I can legit just leave this and just make a whole new character doesn't bother me. <laughs> I have a lot of saves in this. Let me look at what it, what it was here. Yeah, he was swift-footed. Oh, man. That's, that's not good. <laughs> Power would be fine. Aggressive. Or, oh, Berserker. I'll die so quick. 
If I play, even if I play on normal. I want to look at how people built theirs in Dynasty Warriors 8. I don't think I've ever looked at guides for Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires. I've only looked it up for 7 Empires. Perfect custom. Best custom character. That's a Google search right there. Create your most... Taking into the weapon, Muso, etc. To cross pike with all... Blue Boo Musos. I don't think you can get any more powerful than that. C3 feels like crazy. Follow up EX has a huge range, and does decent damage. Shadow Sprint allows you to infinite, infinitely juggle enemies and keep up fast and consistent offense. Blue Boo's R1 is single, single hand highest damage Muso in the game. No questions asked. So you can use that to get rid of any hyper officers. You can beef up your Muso by using them immediately after C6X buff Zushu's second Muso with the one with all the arrows hmm these sound pretty crazy is anyone still playing this game? This is from March 23rd. Six months ago. Like, legit. There's a 78% said yes. They are still playing it. That's a lot. That's a lot of people. I think I did a whole playthrough of this back on my old Twitch channel where uh, I, I did one whole playthrough on one of the scenarios. Uh, conquering the entire continent. <laughs> Zhang Shu, this is basically a samurai character. Give me more katana weapons, man. I mean, uh, Joe uh, Tai's weapon's great. I could probably conquer China with this moveset pretty easily. Shushu is still pretty good. Yeah, this one's still really good, actually. What's the second Muso here? I don't think I remember what this looked like. The Volley of Arrows. I had to change the outfit because I don't like this clipping at all, man. That's That's the worst part. Ooh, the wolf outfit. Actually, I, don't, I remember. I remember this outfit. Not that bad. Don't like the headpiece for it. Uh, actually, you know what? That's not bad. I forgot I even had that hair. Oh, he has no pupils. I, re <laughs> I forgot about that. Because you would never see his face. Sorcerer's Hood is also pretty cool. Uh, what was the color? Oh yeah, this one. Can I see... Water dragons is whatever. Yeah. This one one of my favorites. I would combine this with the the sickle or the scythe and the chain. This one's whatever. That one's just weird. That one's okay. That one's okay. That one's whatever. Yeah, I do. I do like this one. I think I. 
Oh, oh, I did not. Okay. There we go. I would have to change the accessory. This moveset's really good. But I need to change the, uh... The stats. I had more than... What did I have? Oh, a scar. Just wouldn't be able to see it. Can't even see the hairstyle. Oh, the hairstyle doesn't even matter. We're doing something simple. We're not overcomplicating things here. Oh, actually, Berserker is fine. Diamond in the rough. Let's do that. Let's save him. We can pick a, a different scenario, too. We have to do the Three Kingdoms one. I'm going to play for a little bit longer here. We're gonna skip the cutscene because we're it's the same goddamn intro cutscene. For everything. Swimsuit paradise. <laughs> oh man. What were the other ones here? Uh costume face off. I should probably just <laughs> let's just do swimsuit paradise. Uh let's keep it at normal. No deaths. We don't want to execute people. Takes up too much time, too. Oh, these are some custom characters into this DLC. Look at this dude. Who is this? Cherry? Who? That's what I like with some of the, the DLC stuff. It's pretty cool. Oh, Silvana is um, packing some heat. Some some feeling different here. A lot of these guys with the arm blades, man. What the hell, dude? This is a thick boy. What the? Look at this dude. Yeah, we know the wait. Actually, I want. I'm curious who would be the uh, opposer here. Would be somebody in the swimsuit. I have white eyes. I forgot. Is that Jaho Yuan and Sao? Oh, it's Sao Sao. Okay, and Jaho Yuan. Interesting. Blue Boo's DW7 outfit. Yeah, you know what they they could have done that like previous game outfits, the previous fran uh, series, and make them custom or make them gear for custom characters. They could have done that. Actually, uh, don't Dy Dynasty Wars 8 characters have like uh, throwback costumes? Pretty sure they do, right? Battle gloves, not a fan of that. Ah, the Tonfas, uh, sure, sure. That's an easy quest too. Don't be afraid of my clear pu or non-existent pupils. I don't know what the custom saddle looks like. I forgot. Pretty sure I have one saved. Let me see. Never mind. Just a regular horse. Oh, I missed this moveset, man. Oh, my goodness. 
Yeah. It doesn't feel fast. It's because I'm berser uh, Berserker stats. All for the damage here. What the heck? That feels so good. I remember when Dynasty War 7 Empires came out and just abused Zushu's moveset. This is incredible. I wonder if they would put this in Dynasty Wars Online. That'd be incredible for this moveset. I would not mind it. They would have to rework it, though. There's just too many dashes in these charge attacks. Oh, there's a second one here. The arrows. Oh, yeah. I see why. The arrows are crazy. You fill up like three bars of that? Like, absolutely. All oh, these busters in Discord playing Remnant. I didn't even know these guys played Remnant. I, I played that like once. I streamed it once. And then I stopped. That game was intense. It pissed me off for a little bit. Those boss fights kicked me off. I think mainly because I did it solo for a few times and then I had like one person queue in to help out that worked, it actually worked with one person. Because the third guy that joined in does AFK. Remnant's pretty fun to play sometimes, but you know. Souls like games are not my cup of tea. I'm all about the mindless beat em up hack and slash games like this. Mostly. Unless it goes to Tsushima, because I'm. I love that game. That's that's game of the year. Like, no argument. That's game of the year for me. Oh, the flying swords. Those are good. Those are one of my favorites, actually. I'm going to get this. I kind of want Gon Ning's Dynasty Warrior 6 outfit for a custom character. I'm trying to think what else. Sal, Sal Pai's... Uh... A lot of his regal or royal kind of like costumes are pretty sick. I like his Dinosaur 6 outfit too. Who did I like in Dinosaur 5? Uh, what outfit? Pong, Pong Day? His, his outfit's pretty good. The heavy, the knight looking kind of armor. Western, Western knight. That one's pretty cool. I don't know what else. I'm trying to think. Who looked awesome in Dinosaur 5? Joe Tai? I like his Dinosaur 5 outfit. I like his Dinosaur 4 outfit, too. Oh, I haven't done these in forever. I 
For those who watch Avatar Last Airbender or Korra, like, I wish a Korra game was like this. Instead of the one that we got from Platinum Games, which wasn't all too good. Mainly because it didn't have enough attention. I'm pretty sure I have that game. One more person? Okay. I am heading out there respectfully. Now, now I just remember there should be some outfits from... Oh look, Zushu. Some outfits from Dynasty Wars Online are um, completely original too. There's a few of them. And they incorporated their way into some of the Dynasty Wars outfits here. One of the... Uh, one of the outfits from 5 for a create character made it to Dynasty Wars Online and then they, re they kind of remade it. Yeah, it looks incredible. I think it was called the Blaze... The Blaze Armor? Jotai stands for 4 and 5. Yeah. Oh, Jotai and Dinosaur 5. That's just the best. It's very similar to Dinosaur 4, but then they, they cleaned it up in 5. It looks so much smoother in 5. That's the way his katana sound effect, too. It's just, it sounds so good. Joe Tai was my favorite character in 5. In Extreme Legends, I would always pick him to be, uh... Uh, the, my, uh, my officer so I can get his weapons. His jump charge attack is like the, the craziest goddamn thing. Similar to, um... Sao Pai and, uh, Gan Ning's jump charge attack. It's just... The dumbest thing ever. You could juggle that too. It's just broken. <laughs> you can mess around with that all day. Now I want to play uh, Dinosaur 5 Empires again. Or not Empires. Well, Empires again and Extreme Legends. Extreme Legends is my favorite of all time. And I'm saying that with the most biased opinion because that was my first one. That was my first game. For Dynasty Warriors. For Samurai Warriors, I think I played two Extreme Legends and Empires first. I think I had both. I rented both of them at the time. I got heavily addicted to, to Empire, Samurai Warriors 2 Empires. That was... That was another phase. And I don't think I even went back to Samurai Warriors 1. I don't think I ever did. Alright, one, one of my favorite weapons here. In 7 and 8. Yeah, the flying swords. We forget all logic in this game, and we have flying swords. I think this this uh, move set made it to Dynasty Warriors Online as well. I'm trying. I'm pretty sure it did.
Might have to make a new uh, Game City account just to play Dice Wars Online again. I'm gonna wait till I can get access to a new VPN service. I'll use ExpressVPN. Not sponsored. I like that the charge attack off a horse is a fire element. It's kind of crazy. What the? Jang Bao? I don't like his moveset either. It's kind of like whatever. It, it's kind of whatever. He's dressed more like a martial artist too. I think that's actually no, that was the swimsuit outfit, wasn't it? I couldn't even, I didn't even realize it, he cause he looked different to me for a quick second. I didn't know he had a swimsuit outfit. I'm gonna do one more. I want to play other games right now. For a stream, I did Team Fight Tactics. I played like four games of Team Fight Tactics, and then I was like, you know what? I'll stream. And to be fair, I wasn't gonna play. I was not actually gonna play Dinosaurs Eight. I forgot what I was gonna play. I was probably gonna play more Siege. Or something off the PS4 that I haven't streamed yet on this channel. Weapons. Oh, this one's actually way better. I wish there was a jukebox for this game. God damn it. Sure. I do like the song though. They've remixed this one a lot. Oh, you know, the, the soundtrack when I was talking about Advance, I was thinking of... I think it was Way's main no, Way's main theme was Overture, right? Is that what it's called? That's the one I really like too. Then there's one really good remix for Warriors Orochi 3. That I really liked. It was like a crossover soundtrack. Might have been like the main one. Why are you taking forever? Oh, there was another bandit leader. Okay. The lieutenant. Okay, can we go now? I love the way he spins for this. This is pretty sick. You're gonna be down here. Oh, wait. Exactly as I predicted, absolutely. Oh. What the? Okay, get the hell out of here.
<sighs> I need to relook at the uh, Dinosaurs 9 weapon sets. I forgot. I forgot who who uh, used what in nine because I know they reverted and callback. I think there were callbacks to the classic ones, weren't there? Did Gan Ning get his sword back? I don't remember. I don't remember now. Oh no, I think they they kept the sickle and ball thing, right? Or did they give him something else? I'm trying to remember what they did. They showed gameplay of it before the game came out for God name. I, I don't remember if I liked it or not. Come on. Let's go. Or another ambush. And that's it. Oh, look up God Ning Dinosaur is not. Cute. Oh, it was the sickle. Or wait. This, uh, yeah, looking back at this gameplay, man, there's a lot more just open areas, but not enough enemies. I want the whole screen to be filled with enemies when you're in the middle of a battle. Yeah, you saw the sickle and ball, chain ball, whatever. I do like the way he looks. Again, they had good ideas for this game, just did not execute great enough. It's, I don't know, I just... Something maybe returned that game an hour in. And I ranted about that, I destroyed this game. I destroyed this game with a rant. It... It was just something else. I think I ran about it twice. I made two videos of that. I'll save this one. I don't think I'll ever get back to this one ever again. <laughs> I think any, I think the next dinosaurs related thing I might play might be online. I can make an account again and download the game because you have to change your region to download the game. I might have to do that. I need to find the community, that, uh, English community that plays on the Japanese server. And boost me. That game is so hard to rank up if you have, like, no guild. There's hardly any new players in that game. <laughs> a lot of them are doing, a lot of them are high ranks doing PvP mainly, that's it. I like doing the PvE stuff. I like fighting the AI in that game. Alright, that's it for the stream. We actually hit two hours playing Dynasty Warriors. That's kind of crazy. Because normally I stream uh, about an hour and a half, maybe. If you're lucky. Most of the time. I could play this game like eight hours straight if I wanted to. But I don't know in stream content wise. Like if I didn't have my mic on, I'd probably play this for like eight hours. I feel like I waste my energy talking all the time while playing. That's how I feel about like every game I stream. Alright, thank you for the follow earlier in the stream and uh, thank you for chatting up too. I, I like that we had a good conversation with Dynasty War stuff. That's fantastic. On my old channel, uh, I had somebody completely different 
join in the stream because they saw somebody playing Dynasty Wars 8 on Twitch. And they were like, hey, whoa. Now, and I think he wasn't even aware of this this far into the game. I think he said the last game he played was like 5 or something. I forgot what the username was. And he was a streamer too. So it's great to have somebody relatable to that actually likes Dynasty Wars into the chat again. I like that. I, I want to look up on Twitch right now and see who actually plays this game. I'm going to look. Nobody else. I'm literally the only one playing it. There's 1.8 thousand followers on this game. I'll follow it right now. Somebody streamed it uh, two days ago. Yesterday. Lexi Deer plays this game. Lexi Deer. Might have to pop in one day. Somebody actually still plays this. This person streamed it for like an hour. I like that this person plays Dynasty Warriors. You, uh, this person has a YouTube channel. Oh, I dig it. That's pretty cool. Maybe the next time you see me play Dynasty Wars game is when Dynasty Wars 10 comes out and it's actually good. Maybe. <laughs> or Warriors 3. Or Warriors 4 Ultimate. Maybe I'll I'll play that again. I don't think I ever finished that game. Ever. Alright, I'm hopping off. That's pretty much it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Two streams tomorrow. Uh, I might do Dead by Daylight tomorrow. Dead by Daylight or and, and Rainbow Six Siege or Team Fight Tactics. I'm not sure. I feel like I want to do more rank games. T uh, team Fight Tactics. Moving our way from bottom to the top, we went from iron to bronze in one game. And I didn't even win that game. That's weird how the rank systems are different for that game too, compared to the regular League of Legends stuff. Like you literally have to start from iron or wood or whatever the lowest tier is. All right, I am leaving because I am getting tagged on Discord to join a call. <laughs> Looks like there's a party going on. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning with a stream. See you.